I need a bitch that rock Louis V like me My talent times two like I'm Siamese Put money in my pocket till it rip my jeans I'm cold ice cream, I told my team Ain't nobody fucking with us, that's all Hey, how's it going guys? Zodar here and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to fix the black screen of death, I guess you could call it, whenever or whatever you want to call it, whenever you load up a game in Multiman. Uh, to fix this, uh, sorry if I go a little bit fast, it's just um, this is my third time recording this because for some reason my PVR didn't want to capture my voice. Anyway, uh, Basically, uh, this is going to be the first of many PlayStation 3 tutorials. Um, my splitter finally came, so I'm actually able to record my PlayStation now without the HDCP whatever. So, yeah, uh, to start off, uh, basically you can fix this using PS3 ITA Manager for uh, version whatever. Uh, you can use it, fix the black screen using this, just load the game using this. But the thing with that is... <clears throat> thing with that is is that you have to be on ps3 ita 4.50 which i am not i used to be and that's why i have this installed i used to be on or i now on 4.46.1 rebug uh drex so yeah anyway we're going to head up to uh multi-man <clears throat> mine says dex just because of the fact that uh again i'm on drex so i mean i'm on a dex console uh if you aren't on dex then yours will just be multi-man so you're just going to launch Multiman. Hopefully my audio doesn't mess up this time. It just did not work out at all. So we're just going to wait for Multiman to load up. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to go to our game of choice. Uh, this works. I've done this on every one of these games that you see here. As you can see, I mean, I'm not sure that matters, but Call of Duty 4 is in this tray. Anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter what game you do it on. It works on all, but I'm just going to be doing it on Thief just because a lot of people have been having trouble with this since it just came out uh, about a week ago, I think, two weeks maybe. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people have been getting black screens with it. It's a more recent release, South Park, uh, The Stick of Truth. It works on here as well. Uh, works on... Call of Duty Ghosts. I haven't tried Castlevania, but I have the settings set on it as well. And yeah, it works for everything. So what you're going to want, and I haven't, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it on Splinter Cell Blacklist, and I'll show them to you on Thief. Uh, just because uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist, I haven't done it to, and I just barely copied it over. So um, what you're going to do, press triangle on the game, go to game settings. As you can see, uh, this is the area that you want to focus on right here. Um... <clears throat> There's no uh, other way, well, as far as I know, there's no other way to do this, but this is just the best method possible that you can do. You're going to press BD Mirror, and on this side, uh, it just go with wherever your game's uh, stored. As you can see um, below the title, my game is stored in HDD0 games and then whatever. So mine's going to be internal. Yours may be external if you're using an external hard drive to load the game. So you're just going to have those two set. And I'm just going to show you that it's the same as Thief. Same on Thief. Same on uh, South Park. Same on Grand Theft Auto. Same, or, well, Gran Turismo I don't really play because for some reason it gave me an error. But anyway, I'll set it on there. Um, Castlevania, I already had BD Mirror check. Just got to put Internal. And Ghosts. <laughs> Battlefield 4. And obviously not this because this is my actual disc. So, yeah, that's uh, what the settings that we're going to set. And, again, it's on all my games. Obviously, not Rebug Toolbox because it's not needed there. But, anyway, I'm just going to show you that it works. I'm just going to launch Blacklist because that's the one that I just did. It's verifying data because, again, this is the first time that I've launched the game. So, it's just going to verify the data. Then, it'll kick you back to that. B. Once it loads, you're going to go up to, and the reason mine says uh, game quit, uh, no requested event, is because that's just a you know, Dex PS3 thing. And as you can see, Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Blacklist, you're just going to launch it. Or whatever your game is should be there, just launch it. We're just going to wait for the game to load up here. Uh, I'm just going to cancel the update. I'll do it at a later time. 
It's validating your trophies. Uh, the next tutorial I'll probably do is how to do uh, how to mod your trophies because I'm sure a lot of people want to do that, and it's actually a fairly simple uh, way to do it. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for it to validate the trophies. Now that that's done, we're just going to wait for the game to load up. Uh, well, I mean, as you can see, there's no black screen, no nothing. It loaded perfectly fine. And, uh, if you, if something else different happens and you have an error for some reason or an issue, uh, just go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll try my best to get back to you guys or PM me on YouTube either way. And, uh, by the way, in Multiman, if it asks you to, um, that it's a newer, especially for like Thief and South Park. If it says that it's for a newer version, like, uh, that the eBoot has a different version in it, like, um, for some, for an example, South Park is going to have a 4.56, I think, or something like that. The new, whatever the newest software was, whenever it was released, uh, it'll ask you if you want to change it to your current version. Just make sure you click, uh, yes, and you can make sure you have a disc in your disc tray. If you don't, then this will not work. You have to have a disc in your disc tray. So for people without a Blu-ray drive, I'm sorry, this will not work for you. Um, I'm pretty sure there's other methods out there to do it for no Blu-ray drive, or you could just go to PS3 ITA. But yeah, um, so yeah, game works perfectly fine. I'm not sure why it's validating DLC. I don't have any. I'm not gonna sign into PlayStation. So yeah, this works perfectly fine and uh that was how to fix the black screen for your games on multi-man i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh we'll have i i'll put out the next video for you guys which will most likely be a tutorial for like i said trophies and uh yeah so hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you favorite comment like and subscribe that was completely backwards but that's what i meant so yeah um yeah that's 